Hello, hello, hello. Now I'm back for another Blender car interior to mo interior modeling tutorial, basically. So it's part 16 of this tutorial. Where we last left off, we did the actual speed pedometer in here. So now what we're going to be doing is... We're going to be doing the actual steering wheel system. So what I'm going to first first of all do is I'm going to go into here and select that. Select this. Go cursor to selected right there. And now I'm just going to go add cube scale that down like that like that scale and move that down scale y axis scale y axis like that go into tab right here like that that pretty much go into global extrude y axis x axis and now I'm just going to go into here go into here I think Like that. Like that. Like that pretty much. So kind of like that right there. And lower that up like that. Like that pretty much. Going to here like that. So I want to try to go into here and go into Steering wheel. So go into here and go Honda Civic steering wheel like this. So this is what I want is this right here. Not this one. This is what I want. Something like that. Like that. So this is what I want is this picture right here. Don't want too much advanced advanced steering wheel. So something just very simple. So 
something like this. So something like this is what we need. So like that. So we're not going to see the back of this. So we're just going to put that right there. Like that. And just put this right there. So that's good enough right there. So I'm just going to go subsurface smoothing like that. So it looks like that. that like that right there and now I'm just gonna go into here and so what are we gonna do here so I need the proper pictures for this so I'm gonna go into This is what we need is a proper pictures like this. And and <clears throat> right here. Right here we need the proper pictures like this, I think. This is what we need right here. Just gonna go out of that. So like that right there. So now what we're, I'm gonna do now is go top. Like that. And I want to try to go C tier, C tier cursor to selected, shift, center right there. And now I'm just going to go A, Taurus. Delete that, go shift A, and add Taurus again. Luckily this is good. So like that, that's good. So we're going to have it like that.
And I'm just gonna loop select all of these, I think. So like that, go like that, go B, C to hold down the middle mouse button while you're selecting, like that. And now we're just going to go into here and increase that like that, so we can do the steering wheel like that. Subdivide, then, so kind of like that right there. Kind of like that, right, like that. So now I'm just going to go into here and get a general, general picture of the steering wheel much more better so something like this so that's what I want to try to do is something like this and something like this something more like that I would like to do so I'm just gonna go into here and just insert insert a plane like that Like that. Scale. Scale. Move that down right about there. Scale. Go into here, move this up like that, grab, scale, axe, grab, Y axis, scale, X axis, scale, X axis, scale, X axis. Grab, X, grab, Y axis. I'm just moving that up like that. 
so now I'm just gonna go into here and just go into here top like that And I'm just going to select these right here. And move these down more right here. Like that. Where it's kind of more like that right there. Kind of like that. Kind of like that right there. And and Just going to do this very fast and simple. Like that. Like that. That's what it looks like so far. Extrude down. Just gonna go like that. that 
might not look 100% perfect, but it's getting up there. So, I want to try to do this now. Go in here. Scale that down. Go CTRE and go edge slide like that. Sorry if I'm not talking. Just this is very, very hard to do. Extrude. Just gonna go into here and go normal. Go normal. I just want to just try to scale that down along the normal. So I just want to go into here, grab, rotate this, grab, scale, like that. CTR R rotate CTR Z like that. So I'm just scaling that down like that, where it's perfect fit. that All tied like that. So that's kept like that. Kind of like that right there. Going to here. Go up a valve like that.
so that's what we have done so far, I think. So, we're almost done, I think. I think this tutorial is going to be a little bit more longer than the, the average tutorial. But that's okay. I'm just gonna go into here, I think. Undo the Honda symbol right here that's gonna be used right here. So let me try to see this. And Shift V. Shifting like that. Shifting like that. Shifting like that. Shifting like that. Shift V right here. Shift V right here. Shift V right here. Axe. 
So I press K basically to, to go into nice selection. And now I'm going to go CTR tab. And now I'm selecting this Alt. And just go last right here. Alt M. And go last selection right here. Alt M. Last selection right here. So now I'm just going to go into here, wireframe, go into face selection mode, and go B, and select in the middle of this, and go X, face. Go into tab mode, face. Go into here. Go CTRR right face. Go duplicate X face. So now what I want to try to do since I now have that done. I have that now done. And the main body of the steering wheel is done. I'm going to go into here and go mirror modifier and go into clipping bring that up like that and go apply like that go into edit, edit mode go apply steering wheel is not going to look perfect but it's getting up there now I'm just going to go into here that go into here go duplicate strewed and set right there That. Alt M collapse. Go CTR link inverse. Like that. Go K for knife. X, K for knife, X, K for knife, X, K for knife, X. So that's just left that four poly right there. And now I'm just going to go into here and select all of this, X. And I'm actually going to do something a little bit different with this. I'm going to go face right here and try to make this as much as far poly as possible. X, knife. And just kind of select the vertices where the vertices meet. I'm going to try to select that. Like that, X, like that, like that, and that's the entire thing ready to be used. I might actually want to try to go into here and raise that up a little bit. Like that.
go all tied. And that's a Honda symbol that's selected right here, I think. The Honda symbol that's selected right there. So now we have that. Now, now we have the steering wheel now done. So I'm just going to go out of that. Let me try to look at that. Looks perfect. And now we just rotate that. 90 degree angle where we see right there. And just go into here. And I just want to go in a. I just want to go into here. And just go into here. Like that. And just go like that. Like that. Like that. Kind of like that. Where we see the, the actual car interior coming out like that. And now we're just going to go into here and... Go into here. Like that. Go into here. Cursor to selected, cursor to selected, like that, cursor offset, so I want the steering wheel to be a little bit smaller than that. Let me see. So that's way too big, the steering wheel. So I want the steering wheel to be more smaller than that, like around this small. So kind of like that, but a little bit more larger than that. Kind of like that. Let me try to look at it in a car. So it's kind of like that. So that I think is a very good size right there for the steering wheel. Not a hundred percent perfect. Maybe I could make it a little bit more bigger like that. Yeah, that's perfect size. Not too big. Like that. Scale like that.
like that. That's the right fitting right there. Not too big, not too thing. I might have to go into here and like that. Bring that down a little bit more like that. So I'm just gonna leave that like that actually and that's what we have done so far so we're almost done the car itself so now what I'm gonna be doing right here is That's what we have so far right there. So now what I'm going to be doing is just pausing this for a little bit and just take... Actually, I'm going to stop this right here. On the next piece right here, on the next part, we're going to be working on the actual, like, the, we're going to be working more on the buttons that's going to go on the side of the steering wheel right here. And we're going to be working mainly on the actual gear stick shift shift right here. That's going to be working. So we're going to be working more on the gear stick shift that's going to be on the side. And we're going to be working on the smaller buttons that's going to be at the side of this. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really hope that I can help you out. And I really hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe if you can. And I hope this tutorial helps you out with future projects. Thank you. Goodbye.